Hi, my name is Gary Johnson. I'm Senior Outreach Manager at the Better Business Bureau. Our Better Business Bureau serves Minnesota and North Dakota, and I have been uh, doing senior outreach for uh, a number of years and uh, wanted to talk to you today about a program we've devised called Be Wise, Be Informed, and Be Empowered. And that is what we're going to be talking about today. You know, uh, growing up, as, as most of us did uh, in the senior category, uh, we grew up trusting people and taking people at their word and respecting authority. And that has uh, put a big circle on the back of seniors for these con artists. And we want to just uh, make sure you're aware of what's happening and what they uh, do to get our personal information or our money. And, you know, have you ever been uh, uh, contacted or solicited by the phone and everybody says, yeah, that's where they're uh, coming in and getting a hold of uh, us in, in, the, in the most effective way? Um, or been directed to wire money to someone? And we'll talk about how those issues work. And uh, asking questions for your personal information. This is where people really can get caught up in uh, giving out their whole... Uh, life history, so to speak. So some of the, the common senior scams are the telephone, uh, mail, and computer and internet. And the telephone is where they have the most access to seniors. And they use that uh, against us in, in a regard that, you know, we grew up trusting people, uh, we answer the phone, uh, we respect authority. And so if you get a call from uh, someone claiming to be from your clinic, your uh, uh, credit card, or your bank, uh, and they uh, want to start asking personal questions, just hang up the phone. Don't get involved with that uh, uh, person on the phone. Uh, have a little speech in your back pocket and uh, be ready to hang up. Uh, the mail is another one, direct mail. Uh, a lot of opportunities come in that regard as far as uh, uh, scams and frauds and sweepstakes offers and uh, product offers. So we just want to make sure that we can recognize some of these things. Uh, computer and internet is uh, more and more uh, prevalent because more and more seniors are actively involved uh, on the line and uh, uh, there are some real uh, pitfalls to watch out for there. The telephone uh, is where, like I said, they have the most uh, contact with us and if you answer your phone you'll get a check by your name and if you uh, engage in conversation you'll get a check by your name and if you um, fall for their offer scheme or fraud you'll get a gold star by your name now they sell your name to underground networks and uh, that is where the treadmill starts I know I do a lot of meetings where uh, people say Gary I'm on the do not call list but my phone rings off the hook. Uh, and we just want to make sure that you're not giving out personal information. Uh, phishing uh, calls uh, where they're looking to, uh, to be from an agency you're aware of, uh, IRS uh, or Medicare or Social Security. Uh, and so you think uh, there's one going around that's really strong on Social Security where they're uh, calling and saying that your, uh, your uh, number's been uh, compromised and you uh, are committing fraud and you have to contact this number right away or your benefits will be cut off. So people get in a real panic uh, and just know that uh, the Social Security Administration, IRS, does not reach out that way. And spoofing on caller IDs. It used to be a, a real uh, advantage to have caller ID on your phone, but now they can make that look, that number coming in on your caller ID uh, look like a neighbor or uh, someone local. So they could be calling from anywhere in the world. So don't be uh, really uh, depending on your caller ID. If you're getting, you know, five, six, seven, eight, ten calls a day like a lot of uh, seniors get, uh, just use an answer machine, screen your calls. If it's a friend or a relative or a neighbor, they will leave you a message. Some of the red flags to watch out for uh, is they're pressuring you to make quick decisions, uh, you know, like the information uh, that they're requesting. 
or offer uh, to do a small favor for someone else, uh, you know, even in your contact list. Or you may uh, be asked to uh, verify your uh, Social Security number, your Medicare number, those kinds of things. Uh, and I know I had uh, one issue when they were sending out the new Medicare cards where people would get calls and saying that they were from Medicare, doing spot checks, making sure the system worked. Do, uh, did you get your number or get your card? And you say yes. Uh, and then they, they softly uh, say, well, to make sure our system is working properly, uh, what is your number so we can verify that? And they, they lead you down a path. So just never give out personal information. We may be beating that up a little bit today, but it is so important. How to avoid, you know, stopping uh, and take, take a deep breath and, and don't act with emotion, act with logic. Uh, if you're uh, getting these calls and they sound like it's something you need to take action with right away. Uh, and don't give out personal information such as, uh, you know, your account number, social security number, and those kinds of things, uh, just because uh, they're out there to collect that data and use it against you. Hang up on them. Uh, mail scams, lottery and sweepstakes ones are big. Uh, charity and national disasters, uh, medical treatment devices. The lottery and sweepstakes uh, scam where you uh, get a letter or uh, even a phone contact saying you've won uh, the publisher's clearinghouse. Uh, and uh, all you need to do is send in money for uh, taxes and transfers. Uh, I myself, uh, uh, got a contact at uh, uh, work, uh, and we'll talk about that a little bit later. Uh, charities and national disasters. There's a, a disaster around every corner with floods and fires and, and the like, hurricanes. And these con artists use what's in the news, uh, uh, what's top of mind, what's happening locally, uh, and they uh, use that uh, because you're thinking about those kinds of things, and they're they're um, trying to collect money uh, for a cause. Uh, medical treatment uh, devices where uh, you get notified that you're entitled uh, to a free medic alert device or a free back brace or knee brace and that, uh, uh, that Medicare will pay for this. Uh, just don't get involved with those uh, contacts because uh, if your doctor hasn't prescribed a device uh, for you, Medicare isn't going to help. So don't get uh, caught up in that. Uh, computer scams. Uh, a lot of people have been getting calls from uh, people purporting to be from uh, Microsoft or your service provider saying uh, they're uh, going to be installing uh, new software on your computer for your protection and uh, they'll uh, ask you to go turn on your computer, click on their link, and when you do that, you're opening up your computer just like they were standing over your shoulder. And so they can see your contact list. They can see, do you bank online? Uh, do you have investments on, that you track online? Or just your contact list. And if they don't see what they want to have or want to use, they can hold your computer hostage and charge you two, three, four, five hundred dollars $500 to uh, unlock that again. Um, I, at uh, my Better Business Bureau, uh, email got uh, an email that I had won a Dutch lottery for eight million dollars and all I had to do was pay some transfers and taxes and provide my banking information so they could transfer the funds and these people don't check their email list very well if they send that kind of an offer direct to the Better Business Bureau. Uh, romance scams are another one that's huge online where people uh, just might want to find a social contact uh, this happens young, old, and in between where uh, they'll go on uh, Christian Mingle or Match.com or some of the other protected sites and they'll develop a relationship o online with a person. And when uh, they get that relationship developed, they will ask you to leave uh, the protected sites and, and go to <clears throat> another uh, email uh, connection. And then over time, they build that relationship and they have now fallen in love with you and uh, they uh, just need $500 for an airplane ticket to come visit you or they have a medical emergency, you're the only one that can help. Uh, and uh, 
they're just purporting to be a true friend in need. So uh, I myself uh, had a hard enough time meeting girls face to face uh, and then to have them fall in love with me over the internet. So uh, red flags, the unsolicited emails uh, where you'll get a pop up uh, uh, saying that uh, you're getting an offer from uh, your uh, department store or things like that. Uh, just be uh, very cl uh, clear that you don't click on uh, the, the links that are shown because uh, that'll go directly to uh, the scam operator. Uh, emails requesting personal and financial information. Again, uh, there's a, uh, some of them that are going out now uh, where the holiday season's coming up where uh, they're uh, offering uh, uh, discount cards or uh, coupon cards for $100, $200 uh, from a store that you may frequent, a, a Target or a, a Walmart or, or any th other thing out there. And um, uh, just make sure you check that email address to make sure that it is indeed uh, the uh, store that you've been working with uh, and don't uh, fall into this. Uh, just a recent one on Facebook where uh, if you pass this uh, $75 coupon uh, for Costco, uh, you would receive a $75 uh, coupon for Costco, and that's a fraud and a fake. But with the holidays coming up, they'll be uh, reaching out more and more like that uh, as you go along. And, uh, and if a friend uh, that uh, you know emails you and say they've been in uh, London and have had their uh, passport stolen, they need your help, uh, and if they've never asked for financial help from you before, uh, always check to see that, yes, they are uh, not in, out of the country, they are home, that kind of a thing. So uh, we'll do uh, that kind of a red flag review on that, and that's enough. How to avoid, do not click on email links. Delete those emails, just get them out of your uh, uh, purview there. Don't provide, uh, again, personal information. Look up the business phone number and uh, yourself and call directly. Don't call a number that they post. And uh, don't uh, feel pressured. Uh, if you have to make a decision or act on this today, uh, it's not in your best interest. Remember, your uh, personal information is yours and you deserve uh, to protect it. Don't wire money or send gifts cards to people you don't know. Uh, and when you feel uh, pressured, uh, resist any further communication. Uh, the, the grandparent scam is one we've uh, all heard about and uh, that can really play on emotions and not logic. So uh, just know that uh, they're out there to uh, create uh, you know, turmoil or uh, urgency in your life and uh, if they ask you to keep things a secret, don't tell anybody, um, that's a definite red flag to remember. Be empowered. <clears throat> do register your uh, phone number with the Do Not Call registry. Uh, you know, the bad guys don't care. Uh, they're breaking the law anyway. Uh, but uh, you can do your cell phone and your landline, uh, and that will give you uh, some protections uh, for uh, solicitors. Uh, the good guys, of course, check those lists and don't make those calls. So if you're getting them, it's someone that probably doesn't have your best interests at heart. Uh, keep careful records of your transactions and shared doc and documents. Uh, make sure that um, when you uh, do a clinic visit uh, or uh, check your statements from your visa card to make sure that Charges that are on there are actually goods and services that you received and that nobody is compromising your accounts. And report scams and frauds uh, at uh, our uh, site, uh, bbb.org, or call us at 800-646-6222. And uh, uh, there's other sources and resources that we can provide for you uh, with contact numbers for Attorney General's Office uh, and Consumer Affairs and those kinds of things. So uh, those will all be on our website, so check us out.
The Better Business Bureau has also instituted a program called Scam Tracker, and this is a nationwide, and actually uh, through Canada uh, too, where uh, if you hear of a scam or fraud that's happening in Clare, Becker County, or in your region, you can go online and post a dot uh, saying that uh, the grandparent scam has been taking over, or I've received the IRS scam, and that will let others know uh, what's going on in the region. And if you have a friend or a relative that may be living in another state, and you want to check on what's happening locally for them so you can uh, prepare them for what's going on, uh, you can check any place in the country and that scam tracker will have uh, reports. And we encourage everybody to uh, use the system both to check and maybe report. So uh, it is uh, something that we're getting a lot of activity with uh, nationwide. Some of the top 10 scams that were reported on our scam tracker last year were uh, the uh, tax scam where you owe money to the IRS and they get very threatening on the phone. And uh, I know most of you have probably gotten that call. Uh, debt collector schemes where uh, they uh, sound like they're uh, authorized to collect a, a way past the debt from the, the way uh, they want you to uh, pay up uh, or it's going to ruin your credit rating, those kinds of things. Uh, phishing by email or phone where they're just trying to get personal information, uh, that's number three on the list. Uh, employment schemes where uh, you're uh, asked to or you're invited to uh, a work at home uh, project where you can maybe uh, earn some extra money uh, by data entry or other uh, things that uh, are offered uh, through these uh, online employments, but uh, you're more than likely going to have to pay a fee for uh, educational materials up front and just uh, be very, very cautious before you got involved uh, with anyone offering that type of a thing. Online purchases, especially uh, now during the season, uh, make sure that uh, the sites you're connecting with are legitimate and that uh, you're making the outreach directly to them, uh, especially uh, check to see that uh, you're working on a secure site, especially if you're transferring funds. Um, tech support ones, we kind of went over that, uh, where you get that contact from someone uh, wanting to make adjustments to your computer, don't involve with them. Uh, and they, it, they can pop up too if you're uh, doing research online, uh, you might get a pop-up that says your computer has been infected with a virus, call this number right away, don't call the number. Reboot your computer, start over and uh, with a clean slate. Uh, credit card offers, another thing that we can uh, do on our own uh, is we can uh, contact our 800 number and find uh, where you can opt out of getting credit card offers. Uh, so if you're getting these, uh, you're approved for $2,000, $5,000, $10,000 dollar credit line, and, and uh, you, uh, that material could be uh, stolen or out of a mailbox or dumpster dove, uh, and uh, maybe that account can be opened up uh, at another address and you won't know about it until the bills aren't being paid. Sweepstakes scams uh, and lottery scams take a lot of money out of our state, and they, uh, uh, you know, sound really uh, authentic in a lot of regards. Where uh, you've won, uh, say, the Publishers Clearinghouse, and and uh, they're out there. Uh, they've been marketing that program for years, and they do a, award the prizes. But if you have to pay to win a prize, you did not win a prize. And if you didn't buy a ticket, you're probably not. Uh, going to win a prize. I myself buy a Minnesota lottery ticket almost every week and I've won up to $18 so I know the lottery works but I did buy a ticket. So um, advanced fee loans. Uh, say you're uh, in a position where you know you uh, uh, need some uh, 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 cash advances uh, and uh, you've got car repairs or other issues just make sure that uh, the advanced fee loans where they'll uh, gladly take your business. Uh, they'll charge you up front uh, 10 to 20 percent of uh, what your loan would be 
and then at high interest rates. Uh, so be very cautious on advanced fee loans. Um, government grant uh, schemes. This is where uh, you may get an offer saying uh, there uh, are grants available, especially for people in your age group uh, where uh, you will be included in a study and will use your information for uh, uh, just marketing purposes. Uh, grants are, scams are, are, are prevalent because you have to pay a fee uh, to uh, register and uh, uh, you just need to know that uh, grant officer, officers just don't pop out of the blue. Uh, you really have to search them out on your own. And have the conversation when you're with your friends or having coffee uh, or out to dinner. Uh, talk to them uh, about what's going on on the calls and things that you're receiving, what's happening in the area, how to respond and how to react. Uh, the more we're talking about these things uh, to our family, friends and, and associates, uh, the better off we have a chance of uh, saving people from having their life savings uh, pilfered and uh, uh, it just is a good idea to have that talk uh, with your neighbors and friends. And I want to thank uh, the station, uh, the management, and, and the staff uh, for offering uh, me this opportunity, and I really want to applaud them. Remember, be wise, be informed, be empowered.